Well, in less than 24 hours after uh, Cooley Mountains, you're here in Clarina, back in, in the club colours. But uh, obviously, Saturday was a, a special day for you with the uh, Puck Father title. Oh, yeah, very special. Um, I was up there two years ago and uh, ended up coming forth. But um, it's, it's a very special occasion. I've been watching for years and years, like, like David Fitz and Albert Shen and all them boys. Like, you know, so it's a great honour for myself just to compete. Like, never, I never thought I'd even win it. And, Thankfully, we came out right side yesterday, like, and uh, it was unreal, it was savage. It's such a unique event, I, I guess, being up there in, in 2019, what was a big help to you this time around? Oh, it was, definitely, yeah. Um, just to get the feel of the course, I suppose, I kind of knew going up yesterday and what I was in for, like, you know, and, and what way to strike and stuff like that, like, in all the corners and the bins and all that, like, so, uh, 19 was definitely a great help, and I, a couple of teammates there, uh, Conor Roach and uh, PJ Butler, uh, giving me a hand as well, which is great, like, so, they knew the course as well, like, so, it was unreal. I mean, yeah, it, there's more to it than, you know, it's called the puck fodder, but yeah. given the terrain and the, the, oh, the mountains and the bushes and briars, it's yeah, you are like the, the rough terrain and all that, like, you know, you're, you're trying to hit for level ground, like, and stuff like that, like, trying to avoid uh, ravines and valleys, like, so, and thankfully I, I avoided all the yesterday, like, so, which is a great help, like, you know, it kind of got me over the line, like. Did so. you feel you were going well during it? Uh, I did, yeah, I, I was striking well, I struck my first, first eight or nine shots were very good, like, and we got halfway and I was 12... 12 shots and the rest of the boys were kind of 13 or 14 so I know I was that shot ahead and I just said to myself if I keep striking well I'll, I should see it through like thankfully I did like so I finished with a shot ahead like so it's unreal it's not exactly something you can do specialised training for I guess no it's not it's not no, we're lucky enough I, I'm on Nicker Hill there so I just had the foot of it like so the, the few of us in Duff there last week just to just kind of get our, our, our foot in our own through the rough terrain and stuff like that like so the, that was a big help yeah, yeah. Uh, I suppose Limerick hurling on such a high always nice to see a Limerick men getting the trophy from, from the GA president oh yeah it's unreal uh, Limerick it's just been it's just been crazy few years like you know it, three Ireland's in, in four years and going for three in a row now like savage like so and just to, to add on top of it is savage like so long may it, uh, continue yeah and you, you join a nice you know short list but a pretty illustrious list of, of Limerick winners of, of that yeah. competition as well yeah Elbert Shannon um, Tommy Quayle as well, like all these boys, like, so it's, it's a great honour to be a part of that, like, you know, and a privilege to to, to the list, like, yeah. And no time to, to really rest on your laurels with a uh, county intermediate hurling quarter yeah, final next weekend. We've uh, got head down over Tuesday night back to train, so we're out of the football now, so it's, it's hurling all this week, and we'll be next Sunday, so we look forward to that. <laughs>